Mr. Peanut Butter, I'm a big fan, so I'm gonna let you off with a warning this time. <laughs> oh shit, here we go again. That's really funny. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Narrative Noir. I'm Rob. And I'm Kit. And I've seen Bojack. And I haven't. Oh, Kit, the dark descent starts now. Oh, there wasn't. Oh boy. All right, well, the uh, the episode that gave me uh, actual like bleh, feelings was the one with, um, what's her name? 16 Aquafina. 16 Aquafina, yep. I mean, she's in it too, but I mean, yeah, uh, Sarah Lynn. Sarah Lynn, yeah. Sarah Lynn. This is uncomfortable. Uh, no, this is good because we're going to focus on your favorite character that I've told you is your favorite, Princess Carolyn. Princess Carolyn. Princess Carolyn. Jellicle cat says jellicles do. And while you were distracted singing, I get to tell you this is a Netflix show. Did you know Netflix series? You got to get your shit together because you're talented, <gasps> you're smart, and damn it, you're good. Meet a kit all the time. What? You are Bojack goddamn Horseman. Oh. So get the hell off my lawn. Get the hell off my lawn. Oh, you've been on a bender for the last two weeks. Ever since you found out Diane got engaged to Mr. Peanut Butter. Oh, right. That's what happened last time. I feel bad for Diane because clearly she doesn't want the attention that Mr. Peanut Butter kind of craves. Diane got engaged to Mr. Peanut Butter. I need a drink. No. <laughs> I met John Stamos. That is not John Stamos. <laughs> John, John Stamos, Stamos died. died. You were naked for a lot of that. Stamos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So it wasn't here. It was at my office. We thought night swimming would be fun. But the <laughs> Dude's face, he's just strong. utterly scarred. Okay. I never knew I horses were that big. Oh, ah! uh, yeah. I'll have a Western bacon cheeseburger. Todd! Our boy Todd. You're the new face of Guten Bourbon. Oh, the bourbon episode. It's an urban German bourbon. Am I just talking over, or are you talking like a Muppet? Oh, the Guten I get it. <laughs> All you have to do is smile and stay upright. Some celebrities can't even do that. I like the Guten Bourbon and the Guten Morning, if you know what I mean. I'm thinking about um, Peter Pan live. Oh, God. <laughs> they found a mother. Oh, it's nice to have a mother. Mm. <sighs> Peter Pan has found a mother. No, I didn't think about that at all. Just stay upright. Like, I'm Christopher Walken and I need this chair because I ain't walking. Because <laughs> I ain't walking. Hey, where the hell is that cheeseburger? I ordered it like an hour ago. Damn, I want a Carl's Jr. burger. Bees burger. I'm going to order it. Oh, no. I love Todd. <laughs> Turtle Tom, you skinny bitch. How the hell are you? I'm in a hurry, so I'll make this. <laughs> it's him! Snappy. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to thank you for getting me this job and pulling me out of that, oh, so predictably Bojack spiral of self loathing and substance abuse. Oh, he's gonna spiral so fast. Oh, of course he is. I feel like you see things in me that nobody else sees. Whenever things go well for him, I always automatically assume it's gonna go horribly wrong by the end. <laughs> or the entire six seasons. The entire show, ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I don't like that joke. No, yeah, no. The one thing is when they build up the, the animal world building, it gets a little... That's weird. Wait till the chicken episode. Oh, God. Ah, uh, working at bigger. Oh, my God. Yeah, that sounds about right. The snail! He just, he just unalived himself in Minecraft with salt. Laura! <laughs> What's happening? We're merging. <laughs> Don't tell me one of the new agents is Vanessa Gecko. Her rival. Slippery, slimy, cold-blooded, bug-eyed. What's new, pussycat? What? She's human. Huh? It's also Kristen Chenoweth, by the way. Oh my god. I was in the middle of my second Soul Cycle class when I got the news. Can you imagine? No. I was She's so Miss Popular. I'm gonna be popular. A hot breakfast from my three wonderful girls, read to them, dropped them off at their elite private school, and then got my ass here as quick as I could. Oh my god, how does she do that all? She's like Barbie. She can do a million jobs at one time. That was biting. Oh. You're probably fine. Or not. Who knows? Yeesh. Where did he go? The shooter's at his house. He just disappeared. I love Todd. Every time I take a sip, 
your happiness. Can I get you to say that in a tuxedo? Oh my gosh, Todd! Don't worry, I won't let it get to my head or anything. Hey! Who told that asshole he could sit in my chair? No! Hello, beautiful. Oh, he goes after Princess Carolyn because yes. of Di- Oh, no! He gets real creepy about it, too. Why was I so upset about Diane getting engaged? He's already creepy. It gets worse. Oh, I see what this is. That's my phrase for this show. It gets worse. Just Carolyn, what are we doing? Every time I hear that bit, I think of- Oh, Bracken, what are we doing? You're the one I need to be with. <laughs> oh, no. I'm coming for you, and I'm gonna make you love me. You gotta get someone big. What about those brothers? Hello? Hello? Lady, you work too hard. God damn it, Bojack. I would kill him. Where I go, I got your little sexy something to remember me by. I love this thing, though. I give you cardboard Bojack. <laughs> oh my god. I need to find a new director. Or you could find my nude erector she's got. Ah! <laughs> Awful joke. <laughs> All around. I knew you'd hate it. Princess Carolyn, Vanessa's my agent now. What? I'm firing you. Now we can be in love. I want to throw him out a window. Yeah, you and everyone. Uh, Are you still searching for happiness? Oh, God. <laughs> Meanwhile, Todd's episode. Make your own happiness. Why does she look like one of the characters from that show that shall not be named because it was on Cartoon Network for a while and it made my eyes bleed? I have no idea what show you're talking about. I don't know what the show is! Then get them the hell out of here! No! Is it just me or does this fake booze taste a lot like real booze? Oh my god. I need to bother Forget you. Forget we were ever here. Holy shit. <laughs> Handled. Oh, hello, Mr. Witherspoon. Did you know the human head weighs eight pounds? Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> One of the rising stars at our company, Charlie Witherspoon. Hello, I yo. This is the creator of the show, by the way. Ah, ah, phone is ringing. Phone, phone is ringing. What, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> I love him. I love him so much. Bourbon is the name of a county. You can't just make bourbon in Germany. That would be like making rice ceroni anywhere but San Francisco. <laughs> you are Todd goddamn... What's your last name? Chavez. Your last name is Chavez? Yeah, why? What does that even mean? Because he doesn't look brown. Oh, oh no. We're just wrapping up. But Kate is my client. Okay, why don't I come find you when it's over and I'll bring you up to speed? Is that no. Quentin Tarantulino? <laughs> <laughs> you are ruining my life. Have dinner with me tonight. No way. I own the restaurant so we can go crazy. That's right, he does own the restaurant. I so love even jokes actually carry on in this show. You choose to work. Hmm. Why not choose to be happy for once? That's good, I like that a lot. I regret not being a better friend to you. And lover. What is that elephant? What the fuck? It's the, in this world, Aphrodite is an elephant. Okay, but. <laughs> Lover's kind of a weird word, but thanks. <sighs> Princess Carolyn, don't fall for it. You want to get out of this stuffy old restaurant? Get some gelato. Maybe drive out to the ocean and put our feet in the water. Ah! See, it, it would be nice if that was like not a fleeting moment and he was actually sincere, you know? But alas, we cannot have nice things in this show. Uh, telephone! Charlie, get me Kate Blanchett. Um, who is? Okay, I don't, uh, uh sorry. <laughs> I can't. Oh, this is such a sticky. mood. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. If Vanessa Gecko wants Kate that bad, she can have her. I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be happy. Tonight, I choose to be happy. You go for it, Princess Caroline. Holy shit. You got something to say to me? You come out to Malibu and say it to my face. I'll be alive tomorrow. After that, who knows? There it is. Reality. Princess Caroline, what are we doing? You were right. I don't love you. You don't love me. We're just two lonely people trying to hate ourselves a little less. Oh. You know the worst part? I knew this was gonna happen. And I let myself get excited anyway. I guess I'll see you around. You're not even gonna give me a ride home? Sorry, I think I just need to be alone right now. Ugh! Mm. You gotta get your shit together. So yesterday you let yourself fall in love a little bit and you got your heart broken. Serves you right for having feelings. Don't oh waste time God, on I foolish am fights Carolyn. of fancy. From now on, you are a robot. Not the Beep, robot bop, bit, boop, but... Beep, bop, boop, bleep. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> 
You knew this. You knew this? I did know this, yes. <sighs> My tie got stuck in the copier this morning. That's great, Charlie. <laughs> if you flip them real quick, it looks like the tie is running. Charlie, <laughs> it looks oh like the God. tie is running. Todd, how do I turn this thing off? Todd! What? I'm busy! From the Never other room. Been, <laughs> that's so funny. He's kind of in a bad place right now. We can't just drop him. But that's not your responsibility. If you want to get him a movie by the end of the day, great, do that. Otherwise, we are washing our hands of him. Charlie! I hear NBC picked up your running tie show. Congratulations! God damn it, Hollywood. <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you, Dad! What's that? You want him to die in an ass factory warehouse fire? Smothering, smothering to death under a pile of burning asses? Oh no! I don't understand why you're going through all this trouble for him. That guy's dead weight, Princess Carolyn. Her face, her mm. Uh, well, my name is Cameron Crowe, but I'm actually a raven. I can actually tell that he's a raven. My art brain just flicked on. <laughs> of course, of course you would. Nope, he's a raven. You can tell by the beak. You'd be the perfect director to make a movie out of it. And I happen to know this is Kate Blanchett's favorite book. Ah, uh, sabotage. Kate? Hello? Kate! Oh no, what happened? Ooh. As I said to Ed Porter at the premiere of The Great Train Robbery, Ah! The train's coming right at me! What the hell is going on? <laughs> he was there in the first movie ever made. I didn't catch that joke. Because he's a turtle. He's been here forever. Yep. You know what would be a great romantic comedy? Remember when that guy stole the D from the Hollywood sign? You know how much Quentin loves to revitalize dead careers. It's kind of his thing. Well, in that case, you know who'd be great? Show me the money! She's so smart. I went through hell and back today, but it was worth it, because I got you a job! I don't care about that. You... You said you wanted a job. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Wow, what happened in Malibu? It gets worse. No oh, thanks, Laura. Go home. I'll see you tomorrow. Are you gonna head out soon? Where else would I go? Oh. Wait for it. Oh no. Happy birthday, Princess Carolyn. <sighs> thanks, phone. You are 40. Oh. No. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts bad. <sighs> <laughs> You can't just stop at certain episodes. That's... Wow. Ah! Choose happiness. Choose happiness, yeah. So you let yourself fall in love, right? <laughs> Serves you right for having feelings. Is that why I shouldn't feel feelings anymore? No, you should always feel feelings. She learns. She grows. That's just her right now. It's it's It shows you where we're going to go with Princess Carolyn, right? Where she yep. balances her life. Because right now, it's all work. Yep. There's, where's the fun, right? Wow. That's totally not relatable. It's okay. I'm good over here being a Todd. But we like Todd. I know, and everyone likes me. I Wait, don't hit that dislike <gasps> button. All right, the infamous episode eight, the telescope, let's go. So, what's the deal with you and this guy? You never talk about him. Well, I kind of maybe stabbed him in the back. Yeah, it's a bit of a story. Uh, a <laughs> yeah, story she's of ready. power, betrayal, and ambitious hairstyles. The year? 1980. Welcome back. Back in the 80s. And Eric Eunice, new wave. Beep, bop, beep, bop, beep, bop, beep, bop, beep, bop, beep, bop. And ABC are here. Look, they're nodding. That's the executive version of laughing. <laughs> I love the one executive that's looking at the other two executives to see if they laugh. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, I'm nodding too, yes. That movie was amazing, except for all the lame time period jokes. We get it, the 50s were different. Oh, the new Coke, please. <laughs> <laughs> God, the writing in here is so clever. Although, if you if you don't know some of those references, it might be hard. Well, even if you don't get them, you know that a joke was made, and you're like, I appreciate it. Like, everything you said was something I've thought before, but never had the balls to say. Thanks, BJ. I set them up, now you knock them down. Let's give it up for Bo no. Jack Horseman! There's layers to that joke. Well, thank you're you, about to I'm out. sure there LA, are. Don't you guys? <laughs> uh, Makers Manhattan, 2 p.m., not judging. <laughs> that guy tipped me a quarter. That's barely enough money to buy three gallons of gas. Oh, the oh. gas joke. Did the guys from ABC call? Uh-huh. They invited me to some hot shot event at LACMA this weekend. Ah, uh, yes, LACMA. LACMA balls. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh! I'm sorry. <laughs> 
This is our breakfast for June. Herb Kazaz! Shit, we're busted. Pretend you don't speak English. Buongiorno, Bonjovi. Salutations! Crap, that's English. <laughs> you mind if I steal this superstar for a second? Okay, yeah. I'll catch you two later. Let me guess. Hmm. He gets jealous and sabotages somehow. Or he ends up with the deer, which is... He's a different person right now. I'm not worried about if you'll become a star. I'm more worried about how you'll change when it happens. They do set it up for you to think that, but there's... It's interesting. Look over there. See those tar pits? Hollywood's a real pretty town that's smack on top of all that black tar. Also, this monologue is... Whew. By the time you realize you're sinking, it's too late. Wait, is this a science lesson? No, Bojack, it's a metaphor. Oh, that's worse. Bojack, I'm moving to Maine. I'm going to miss you, Charlotte. Hey, do you ever wonder what would have happened if you'd met me before Herb did? Would you have made a move on me? Charlotte. I don't think you would have. You know why? I think you're a coward. Damn. She's being honest. Why did you bring me to Griffith Park? Are we gonna get in a knife fight like in Rebel Without a Cause? I hate that title. He had several causes. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to give you this. Look out at that there it city. Is. Oh, the telescope. What do you gotcha. see? Uh -huh. Wow, I didn't I realize see. there were- Oh, Bojack, the show's about a horse. And I told those suits, if they want my show, then that horse is gonna be BJ goddamn Horseman. Oh my God. And they said, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, thank you. Mm. Oh. I think you got the wrong idea here. Yeah, no, man. Oh, I got caught up in the moment. Yeah, no, I, I, I gotcha. BJ, can you believe it? We're gonna make an actual TV show. Let's get rich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in Flanders. Oh, I hate milk with uh, the sexy cow. <laughs> First Chica, now the cow. No. Where's my rap? You said you'd write me a rap. We're working on it. We just need a rhyme for. And I'm here to say. Well, what about giving me rollerblades? <laughs> How are people gonna know that my character- Just get out there and do your job! Oh no. But I'm not doing it for Herb. I'm doing it for the fans. And your 30K an episode. Good God. It hurts. It honestly hurts. Talk to me, world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack, goddamn Oh horse God, face. Marv. What's the role you've been dying to play your whole life? But you just saw the Dances with Wolves poster. Besides Kathy Ireland's bathing suit. <laughs> she is attractive. Good God, would I die? Bury me in Kathy Ireland. Uh, 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 <laughs> What's the big news? Secretariat! It's happening. Keep your head down and your nose clean. Scandal breaking today surrounding the family sitcom Horsin' Around. Oh God, what did I do this time? No. Herb Kazaz, the show's creator, was caught tonight in an LAPD sting on public indecency. What? This is this is literally the Pee Wee Herman thing. Police say Mr. Kazaz was caught in the middle of lewd acts with another man. She. Oh. Mm -hmm. They're gunning for me at the network, and if I get kicked off this, I won't recover. I need to know that you've got my back. If you threaten to walk, they'll listen to you. Ah, uh, okay. I need, oh. You know I wouldn't ask if I didn't need it. Come on, Bojack. How'd we get so far apart, huh? <sighs> Bojack, can we chat for a second? I'm not going to waste your time with small talk. We're letting Herb go. You I can't, can't do, do that. that. I'm not asking you. She's so good. Well, if, well, if he, he goes, goes you I go, go, I wouldn't do that. Bojack, I think you're a star. Angela. I'll tell you when it's your turn to talk again. <sighs> you don't win awards, and you don't get to be on the covers of magazines, and you don't get to play the lead role in the Secretariat movie by being a good friend. What's that old expression about how the show must go on? Oh, right. It's don't be an idiot. The devil wears Prada. That's what I thought. Literally. This was a good conversation. Productive. If you're lucky, I'll never talk to you again. If you're lucky, I'll never talk. She didn't even drink the coffee. It's like nope. so impersonal. You folks ready for a show? Got to be an actor, though. <sighs> Wait a minute. This isn't the bar. Oh, no. That's enough out of you. Stay out here and turn this car around in case we need to leave in a hurry. Hooray! A task! Oh, I love you, Todd. He's the getaway driver. Oh, no. Jesus, you look shitty. Have you been eating your guilt this whole time? <laughs> 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 
It's funny because he ruined my life. I joke. It's what I do. <laughs> what I like about this, it's odd for them, but it's because Herb's gotten over it, right? Yeah. Almost. <sighs> Meanwhile, Todd goes on a 10,000 no, no, point Todd! turn. Oh, I forgot about these two! Oh, I can't do this! I've been trying to do this three point turn forever! What? It's more like a 300 point turn, am I right, huh? <laughs> Whoa. Drive the goddamn car! <laughs> it's Damn. Todd. The shenanigan has to happen. Yeah, Todd. Is that your Vitamix? Bojack has one too. I wonder if you guys have strong opinions about it. I don't give a shit about being healthy anymore. I don't even have he cancer and I don't use it. In that one episode with the Pop-Tarts. Hey -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Diane. I'm sensing a lot of hostility here. Maybe we should take our masks off and actually talk. <laughs> Todd. Happy, I took my mask off. Did you? <laughs> <Am> I, Todd? <laughs> oh my God, Todd. <laughs> Did you think that I spent the last 20 years on my couch just feeling sorry for myself? I mean, I did do that. Oh. But I also started <coughs> a charity to bring clean water to millions of children in sub-Saharan Africa. Wait, is that Charlotte? Yeah, yeah, we kept in touch. You should actually give her a call. And it was actually nice to see you, Bojack. I'm running away from the cops, but I feel like in another truer sense, I'm running away from myself. Is it funny that I actually did this when I almost got mugged once? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, that story kills me every time you tell it. I think I'm finally ready to let my guard down. Do you hear that? He's letting his guard down. Let's get him! Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, no. If you have something you need to say to someone, you should do it while you have the chance. You're leave well enough alone. Is this one of those things where we're talking about her, but we're actually talking about something else? No, I was talking about Herb. Okay, good. Yeah, me too. I feel bad about what happened. So, you're apologizing? Yes. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't forgive you. Oh, yeah. Herb, I said I'm sorry. Yeah. And I do not forgive yeah, you. Yeah, just because someone apologizes does not mean you have to take it. All of it, some of it, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. This could be the last time that no. you... I'm not going to give you closure. You don't get that. A lot of times people apologize because they want to feel better about themselves. You have to live with the shitty thing you did for the rest of your life. You have to know that it's never, ever going to be okay. That's not the point of an apology. The point of an apology is to tell someone that you were in the wrong in some capacity. I really think that we'd both feel better if we I'm just- I'm dying. I'm not going to feel better. And I'm not going to be your prop so you can feel better. It's supposed to give the other person peace of mind, not you. Did everything I could. Yeah? Then why didn't you call me? <sighs> I had nobody. Everybody left. I knew all those showbiz phonies would turn on me, sure. But you? Oof. It's not my fault you got fired. I don't care about the job! I did fine. I had a good life. This is the insight he lacked. Mm hmm But what I needed then was a friend. And you abandoned me. I love the reveal that he's not... He's not mad that he didn't defend him. He's mad he wasn't a friend after the fact. And I will never forgive you for that. Now get the fuck out of my house. I... <sighs> they only say the F word once per season. The writer, um, Raphael Bob Waxberg, reserved it once a season. And it's whenever a relationship with Bojack changes. The way they went about that was, honestly, I, I mean, I've heard hype about this show for a long time. I've heard you talk about it. I've heard Marky talk about it. I've heard a lot of my friends talk about it. And that scene solidified to me that this show is incredibly written. Huh. Hey, BJ, put that back, asshole. No, you gave this to me. Ah! No. <laughs> Yeesh. Bojack. Oh, you know what your problem is? You want to think of yourself as the good guy. Well, I know you better than anyone, and I can tell you that you're not. Oh, wow. In fact, you'd probably sleep a lot better at night if you just admitted to yourself that you're a selfish goddamn coward. You know, when you watch that episode, you think, oh, well, Hollywood changed Bojack for the worse. No. Hollywood showed Bojack's true colors. 
They established it in the script by having Charlotte say it to him before they're famous. I don't think you would have t talked to me because you're a coward. Yep. That's you. That's Bojack Horseman. I don't know why I came here. Yeah, you do. Stanley Tucci, man. Mm, wow. Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Ready for my catchphrase, Kit? It gets worse. Well, for what it's worth, I think it took a lot of guts to do what you did back there. Hmm. Damn it, Bojack! In hell. There's a theory a lot of uh, people had when the show came out on Reddit is that when she refers to the black tar, she doesn't mean that Hollywood's black tar. She means he's black tar. Hey there, investigators. Rob here. I just wanted to thank you for helping us reach 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Did you know we've actually created a Discord server to celebrate? Come on down and join us where we'll discuss your favorite shows, theories, ships, and other such narrative clues here at Narrative Noir, the Discord server. It always kind of rubs me the wrong way when people are like, oh, well, they got famous and then they changed. That change can only happen if there's something underlying there that's deep down that gets exacerbated and all of a sudden, boom, the, the true colors show. Yeah. Yeah, saying sorry is harder than you think, right? I'm sorry. Let's get right into this. Let's, this is episode nine. <coughs> the look she makes there kind of hurts me. Oh. Should we talk about how you just tried to kiss me? No, I don't think we need to talk about that. I don't like where this is going. We're friends, right? Oh yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, friends! Plus, hey, you're getting married! That's right! Next summer! Oh. Well, see you later! We're still a few miles- A walk! It's a beautiful night! Sorry! Shit. Todd, we gotta stop this wedding. Todd? <laughs> is is i've driven that road so many times like i know exactly is it fun uh, no it's where a lot of the celebrities crash and have dui accidents what <laughs> oh so it's it's like literally a drama road yeah oh, it is no. yes i think that's pch is what he was driving on i got here as soon as i could w what's the emergency we got to figure out a way to stop diane's wedding well I'm done. I'm not going to waste another thought on you. Hell I'm yeah. at a bar. It's the weekend. Yeah, I'm gonna you, enjoy myself. You tell him, Princess Carolyn. What's your name, stud? Vincent. Um, adult man. Uh, Vincent adult man. I'm... Vincent is an adult. I'm concerned. And I'll bet he knows how to treat a lady. Uh, he very clearly isn't and doesn't. So... Take this as symbolism that she's dating an immature person. Whoa. <laughs> I got to ride in a police car. Bad news, I lost my driver's license. That's really funny. <laughs> He's a dog. Can you drive me everywhere I need to go for the next three months? I really can't, sweetheart. I'm I'm super busy. Oh, you're working on our wedding registry. I'm writing my book. Right. But don't forget about the registry. Cracks. I see cracks. Mr. Peanut Butter, you know I love you, and you know I am really excited about getting married. Uh, but right now, I'm working, and I have a lot of thoughts in my head, and I can't really think about our wedding or the future or me being married to you. I was seeing cracks way before this. They didn't at all. Honey, relax. Getting married is easy. I mean, I've already done it twice. Wait, did you just say I've already done it twice? <laughs> yes, this is his third marriage. <laughs> So that's still a no on driving me around? Why don't you hire a driver? Uh, is there a light bulb above my head? Because while you were talking, I just got an amazing idea. While you were talking, I got an amazing idea. Mm, mm, Which means he's not mm. listening. I like Mr. Peanut Butter, but he needs to learn how to listen. Have you got your toolkit? Check. Burner phone? Check. Cyanide capsule? Check. 
Wait, why do we need- Okay, let's get started. Oh my god! Enter the study. What? Why? Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just covers classic it with the poster. Oh, Hello? classic Todd. Todd? Uh, hi, Mr. Peanut Butter. Take the cyanide, Todd. Take the cyanide. <gasps> Are you here to interview to be my driver? Um, yes, I am. <laughs> his luck, his luck. Look at that picture on the wall. Can you believe this weather we're having? No, I cannot believe this weather we're having. <laughs> oh my oh, gosh. Wow. We make a great pair. I it's see like, this is why I'm you always Daisy. need the episode Can after a heavy one driver. because they're really funny. Hey, I'm bored, and I think Todd swallowed a cyanide pill and might be dead. Want to come over and bang it out? Appealing as that sounds, I have lunch plans with Vincent. <laughs> I don't like this plot thread. This concerns me. Look who's not dead. Uh, better than not dead, you were looking at Mr. Peanut Butter's new driver. Now you can infiltrate Mr. Peanut Butter's inner circle. Bojack, shut up. Biding your time till we're ready to strike. I hate that Bojack face he makes. Hooray, betrayal. Hooray, betrayal. betrayal. Listen, I was looking over my notes, and I think I have enough to go write the book. You don't want to interview me anymore? But don't you want to know what my rosebud is? You told me repeatedly it was the <laughs> magazine your uncle showed you with the three-year-old woman. Who was she? <laughs> <laughs> the, the music. <laughs> yeah, I, um... Why'd you have to make things weird, Bojack? Oof. I made things weird? God, he's so st Hey, 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 hey. Close your eyes. Come on. Okay, picture our lives together. It's a cold Sunday morning a bunch of years from he's now. He's not Maybe a bad person. It's over. just they're Maybe not they good I don't know. for it's the each other. They're not good for each other, yeah. The important thing and is- And that's okay. Some, look, if marriage stresses you out, we don't have to get married. It's not the marriage. It's the wedding. Let's do something small and casual right here in town next month. <sighs> Honestly, that would be amazing. Yeah, what makes this go horribly right? <laughs> Answer, not Bojack. Interesting. You will find out next season. Oh, yeah, did I not tell you? They called off their wedding. Woofles. They're doing it here sometime next month. What? Uh, I guess saying they called it off is probably not right. Ugh. Uh, 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 uh. That is a problem for Friday, Bojack. Me with four videos to edit in the in the vault. Darn you, past Rob. Oh, come on, character actress Margot Martindale. They say there are no good parts for women over 50. I want to stick an AK-47 in your hand and prove them wrong. I love that it's actually Margot Martindale voicing her. That's funny. And that little boy never found his mother. Okay. Bojack Horseman? Wales. It's Wales Fargo, isn't it? Time you're in, everybody. Nobody moves, nobody gets shot. <laughs> Unfortunate surprise. Oh, well, isn't Character that a actress Margot Martindale <gasps> uh, well, always well, committed. Well, isn't that a pretty ring? I'll take it. <clears throat> this one. But it's my engagement ring. Give it to her, Diane. It's just a ring. Oh my god. No, Mr. Peanut Butter's right. If the ring is just a symbol for love, why would I need a symbol when I have the real thing right here? Yeah. Okay, that's a sweet sentiment, though. What do you mean, sooner? Why not this weekend? We could get married Saturday. Oh, keep the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Curse you. What the hell just happened? Something truly beautiful. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh -oh. oh my gosh, the eel is the taser. Oh my yes. god, that's so clever. I love it. Well, the bank thing was a dud. Thanks a lot, Todd. Oh, you win some, you lose some. It's like Vincent always says, oopsie. <laughs> Vincent. Yeah, Princess Carolyn's boyfriend. We've hung out a couple times. What are you talking That dude Windy. is funny. Oh my god. What the f I want it. Just follow Todd. Just follow Todd. Oh I know god, Todd, no! Oh, I wasn't gonna pee, I was just taking my penis out. That's that's objectively worse, Todd. You weren't just working as my driver, Todd. You were becoming my friend. Aw. I don't know if I'm ready to get married again. I didn't have any doubts until I realized she had doubts. You are kind of unloading a lot of sensitive information. Oh no! <laughs> but I keep having this dream where she's gone. There's no breakup, no tragedy. She's just gone. And my life continues without her. And it terrifies me to say this, but in the dream I feel... relief. Oh. Hey, thanks for listening to all this. You're a really good friend, Todd. Mm. 
God. You asked no. to follow Todd. We're following oh, Todd. I'm so sorry, Todd. <laughs> Beloved character actress Margot Martindale is in police custody tonight for her role in a failed bank robbery. She was at the convenience store the night I bought that video game and ruined my rock opera. Oh. She's the one who asked me to hand her that tape from the 10 cent bin. <gasps> that means Margot Martindale likes tapes. No! He was so close. And a tape is Wait, something you listen goes. to, but tape is also a sticky thing you can use to steal boxes. Boxes is what cereal comes in. He's really doing the whole... What does it all mean? Am I just grasping at straws? Wait. <sighs> Straws are used to drink soda or water, and plants need water. And Bojack used Margot Martindale as a plant. How the hell did he get- Bojack hired Margot Martindale to make me find that video game so he could kill my rock opera. Ah, dude. Well, he figured it out. <laughs> I love how that's how he discovered it. Not the receipt. Yeah, the just thing. Mar Marco. Yeah, the receipt they've been teasing a few episodes. Not even important. I think they're going to send me up to Lompoc. And when I get there, I'm going to find the meanest, hardest queen bitch of the yard. And I'm going to bite her finger off. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually Marco Mortendale. I can't. I can't. I guess. No, I'm stupid. But even I know that the only reason you're doing this is because you're in love with Diane. Yeah. Yes, Todd, go. Be free. And I'm here to finally tell her how I feel. Bojack, she knows how you feel. How? I barely just realized. Hey, man, she made her choice. Yes, go off. Look around. This day is not about you, okay? Mm. So maybe you should just stop trying to mess with other people's lives. Go, go, go! By the power vested in me by one of those dumb websites, I now pronounce you married. Go ahead, kiss, you lovesick dummies. She's wearing a banana skirt, and I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, and, um, I got you something. Executive Vice President of West Coast Operations. Let's go, Todd. Let's go! He got rid of Bojack, and now he's no longer sinking into the tar pit. Mm-hmm. For now. For now. Listen, I can be happy for him in this moment. That's the purpose of this episode, is to, you know, really reset things before it gets... Everything goes ape shit? Again. Nope, I gotta go. Dance with my husband. Ah, I'm married. <laughs> She's happy, Bojack. What have you got figured out that I don't? Um, adult stuff? Yeah, I'm not seeing. So the reason he's so good, Vincent, is because he listens. Yeah. But I made a lot of bad decisions. Not just with her, with everything. You know, Princess Carolyn was right. Is that actually three kids in a trench coat? Yes, it is. They do play it up ah! as a joke. Life is a series of closing doors, isn't it? Don't be sad. Good horse. <laughs> that actually feels kind of nice. <laughs> okay, yes, I see. I understand now. You watch the really hard-hitting episode, and then you gotta watch the next one so that you can... Cleanse. Breathe again. And laugh a bit. Next three episodes, it's another one of those because they, they have one more thing to say before the end of the season. And then, that's season one. High five! Woo! Woo! And if you enjoyed BoJack Horseman, make sure to give a like down below. Tell us your comment. What was the, your favorite part? Did you laugh? Did you cry? Did you, did you cry, Kit? I didn't cry, but it definitely makes you think. Good, because it just gets worse from here. Great! We'll have a good time. I'm ready to go on this train of pain, misery, and abject humiliation. Let's go! Season finale of BoJack. Stay tuned. I've been Rob. And I'm Kit. And these are two videos you should watch. These right here. Did I get it right? Did I get it right? This, that one? Uh, you can also hit subscribe right here. Ding, ding. Um, That's the end title card. I don't know what you're still doing. Like, what's funny is my face is Mike, Mike Wazowski, Wazowski right now. There's literally... Oh, bye bye Bye!